how are you doing? My name is Ben, and today we're going to talk about the New York Lizards, or if you're a bit older than me, the Long Island Lizards. The Lizards are a team that is beloved by many, and in my opinion, had one of the best kits in the entire league. Being one of the original six teams, along with one of the few to play for all 20 years of the MOL's existence, it's no surprise that the Lizards are well known and beloved in the lacrosse community. With that said, let's just jump right into the history. As previously stated, the Lizards were one of the original six MOL teams during their inaugural 2001 season. They entered the league as the Long Island Lizards, playing out of Hofstra Stadium along with EAB Park. The Lizards would go 10 and 4. They would beat the Rochester Rattlers 13 to 12 in the semifinal, and then win it all, defeating the Bayhawks. 15 to 11. This would be the start to arguably the best rivalry in the MLL's history, due to these two teams constantly meeting in the championship game, maintaining consistent high-level play throughout this period of the league's history. The next year, the Long Island Lizards would continue to dominate, finishing first in their division with a 9-5 record. In the semifinals, the Lizards would crush the New Jersey Pride 19 to 11 and route to their rematch with the Bayhawks. Though the Bayhawks would get their revenge, defeating Long Island 21-13, winning the Bayhawks their first championship of many to come. In 2003, the league's third year, the regular season was reduced from 14 games down to 12. This didn't affect the Lizards, again dominating their division and leading the league with an 8-3 record. You might be saying, but Ben, that doesn't add up. And you would be right. The Lizards regular season matchup with the Bayhawks was canceled due to weather. I couldn't find any videos of this, but it just said rain, and I'm just going to imagine that they're all like a bunch of wimps and pussies, but Take with that what you will, I'll see if I can find some clips of it, but for a game to be canceled over rain, that's just crazy. This didn't affect the Lizards, going on to beat the Cannons 2014 in the semifinal, then defeating the Bayhawks 15-14 in an overtime thriller, arguably one of the best lacrosse games in history. The Lizards to this point were the most successful team in the newly formed league, but over the next 10 years, the Long Island Lizards would struggle to imitate their early success. Though they would make it to the championship game two times in this time frame, the Lizards would lose both to their rival, the Chesapeake Bayhawks. In 2013, the decision was made to move the franchise from Long Island to New York City. Not a major change, and the team had been playing part-time outside the New York City area anyway. This seemed to be the identity spark the Lizards were waiting for. Their first season went terribly, finishing with a measly 4-10 record. Yet, they continued to push forward, going 9-5 in 2014, losing in the semifinal round of the playoffs to the Outlaws, then going 10-4 in 2015 with their overhauled roster. This roster included names like Rob Pinnell, Paul Rabel, and Greg Gurelian. This New York Lizards squad would finish first in the league, going on to defeat the Boston Cannons in the semifinal, and then defeating the Rochester Rattlers 15-12 in the championship game. This would be Rob Pinnell's first championship and Paul Rabel's second. From here though, the Lizards would only encounter failure and disappointment. Over the last five seasons of the MLL, the Lizards would make the playoffs twice, though they would be easily defeated both times in the semifinal round. In the final 2020 COVID season, the New York Lizards lost every game of the shortened schedule, going an impressive 0-5. <laughs> With the MLL-PLO merger of December 2020, the Lizards ceased to exist. There's a chance they may make a return in the PLL's history, but that is still unknown. Whenever I research one of these videos, I'm always blown away by the passion these fan bases had. Don't get me wrong, the MLL had some terrible attendance issues, but the fans that did show up were passionate. The New York Lizards are no exception to that. The amount of fan pages I still find in the comments I see on PLL posts in support of this team are enormous. But that is all I have for you guys. Thank you all for watching, especially if you made it to this point in the video. As far as future videos go, I have a Chesapeake Bayhawks video on the horizon and plan on doing an in-depth look at the MLL's entire history. I made some mistakes in my brief history of the MLL video, I want to correct them. But the content will likely start coming more slowly. I'm a full-time student and work full-time in IT, so my schedule will leave little room for YouTube. This channel will not be left abandoned, I plan on continuing making content into the extended future. The response you guys have been leaving on the videos, the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, it means a lot to me and it helps me keep going. I want to help the sport of lacrosse and produce fun entertaining lacrosse content. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.